morning Shane thank you for joining me I'm going to make a loaf of soap that I've had in my mind for a long time now and the only reasons I haven't made this was because a I couldn't find the fragrance oil I wanted to use and b I couldn't find a mold to make the embeds for the top of this soap now every second month Aroma releases some new fragrances and in May they released Honey Wash Type. This fragrance oil has notes of bergamot, mandarin, honeycomb and mixed berries and on a base of musk and vanilla and it just fit the sort of image that I had of this soap perfectly. And as an added bonus it has 0% vanillin. Now if you follow along with me on my Instagram account you would have seen that I posted some pictures of me making some molds using pinky sill and it was when I got this pinky sill that I came up with the idea of finding the shape of what I wanted to make for the embeds for this top of the soap so I've done that this week I've made my little embeds and now it's time to go ahead and make this soap so as mentioned we're using the honey wash type fragrance oil which I will rename to something else whenever a fragrance oil comes with a type as its name I usually do rename it to something a little bit different what I will be doing I for the base of my soap I am going to use just the raw natural color of the soap because it has 0% vanillin I have no worries that it is going to go brown and I just want that natural color of the soap because it's almost got that honey sort of look and then to add a little bit of contrast in there I have some extravagant sparkle synthetic mica and bronze sparks mica both from my mica obsession this um, extravagant sparkle will leave a little bit of sparkle in the soap as well now at this point I am a little bit undecided whether I'm going to do an in the pot swirl or a drop swirl into um, my soap mold so as I blend my lye water into my oils and pour it out for the colors I'll see how it behaves and then decide how I'm going to pour it from there so as always I have my oils in my bucket here they're sitting at about 26 degrees I have my lye water here which has had my tussar silk melted in or um, yeah melted into it and I'm going to pour it down the stick blender into the pot and mix it up Okay, so these are all mixed up. They're looking pretty good at the moment and I'm still very undecided whether to do an in the pot swell or a drop swell. So I'm kind of thinking in my head, I'm going to do a combination of both. So what I'm going to do is just take this one out of here. I am going to pour my gold into here and I'm just going to simply drop it and swirl it all the way through I will leave just a little bit in my pot here as well um, to go on the top I think that should do nicely and we're going to go and grab the soap mold I'm not going to stir that or anything I'm just going to let gravity do its thing and it can do whatever it wants too I'm kind of although I've had this soap in my head for a long time it's actually more the top of the soap that I've had in mind so I'm just going to let the soap do what it wants to do I'm going to pour in the middle and I'm just going to let it do as it wants I'm going to pour about up to just it's probably about three quarters full there and now I'm going to take that bronze sparks and I'm going to drop swirl in making sure I come up into all the corners of my mold this fragrance oil is behaving beautifully so we should get hopefully some really nice swirls through here again I'm going to leave just enough in my pot for the top 
Now the only thing is, with this soap, one of the things I do have in mind for the top is that I do want it to sit quite high up. So when I um, did my oils, I added about 200 grams more oils, I believe it was. Let's just have it, yep, 200 grams more of the oils that I actually need for this soap mold. So I have got that filled right up to the top. I actually don't have as much left over as I thought. But then again, I am also using a much smaller water discount as well. What I'm going to do, because this is so fluid and I want to put the last of this soap batter on the top, I'm actually going to blitz it up with the stick blender just to try and get it a little bit um, more set up. Okay, so I have managed to get it just a little bit thicker. It's always the way, isn't it? When you want your soap to be nice and thick, it isn't. And when you want it to be um, nice and fluid, it tends to set up quite solid. So what I think I'm going to have to do is just leave this sit here for a minute or so and then come back once it has thickened up a little bit and then we can finish the top off. While this soap is just setting up, I'll show you the embeds that I've made for the top of this soap. So as you can see, I'm kind of going for that whole honey sort of look. So I wanted some honeycomb. So to make my honeycomb, I have taken a tray and I've put some bubble wrap over the top. I have taken some of the Stevenson's Melt and Pour No Sweat Clear Soap. I did two different batches. I did one with the Bronze Sparks and one with the Extravagance um, Gold Mica. I then poured it and I kind of poured the two jugs together so all the colours um, marbled into each other. And what I'm going to do is just peel that off of the bubble wrap and then I'm going to break it up into pieces to pop onto the top of my soap. So I should now just be able to kind of tear this up into random pieces and then as I need it to go on the soap I can pick which pieces I want to go on there but the one so this is obviously very easy and was not the mold that I was trying to look for what I wanted to go with my honeycomb was some little bees and do you know how hard it is to actually find a mold which will make a smallish bee that didn't look too comical and wasn't already attached to some other form of honeycomb. I have spent perhaps the last six months looking for a mould like this and just haven't come across one. So I was wanting to have a go at making my own moulds, so making some fruit moulds and things like that. I know there's places in America that do make them, but unfortunately the shipping is so expensive that it's just not viable for me to bring them in and we don't have anyone here in Australia that actually makes them. So I thought I'm going to have to give this a go myself. So I got in some Pinky Sill um, silicone making kit and I did pour myself a raspberry mould and while I was looking for things to actually um, pour into a silicone mould in my sewing room I found these really cute little bee buttons so I took the backs off all my bees and I stuck them down into my little container here I then poured my pinky seal over and I've ended up with some really nice flexible very detailed molds and I have my little bees to go on top of the soap so these are going to be used along with that honeycomb to um, decorate the top of this one so let's go see if this is set enough to start creating that mound that I need to set all these embeds into yep and it's looking good so I'm just going to kind of spoon this on here along the top I kind of want a really rough looking top I don't want this nice smooth top that has Formed. I will get a spoon into it as well and start to really kind of shape it. I want somewhere for the honeycomb to stick into and somewhere for my little bees to sit. So I'm going to get these buckets all scraped out and then I'll come back and put the embeds in. time 
time to start putting the honeycomb and the bees on here. So let's go grab these two trays again. I am going to start by first of all putting my honeycomb in, I think. And basically each bar of soap is going to get a piece of this honeycomb and I'm going to pop it in on the corner there and then I will pop a little honeybee onto each of these soaps as well. So I will do that and once I've got all of these in here I will bring you down for a closer look of these soaps. just a very quick spritz with some of the blizzard mica and that's mainly just to pick up some of the markings in the honeycomb and that should be enough so I'm going to bring you down for a closer look of this honey wash soap so here is honey wash I will be renaming this soap I might have a bit of a brainstorm with hubby tonight on what we should be calling it it is smelling beautiful and those little bees are so super cute I am so pleased I took the time to make them and then to hand paint them all as well so I'm going to leave this sit here for about 18 hours and then I'm going to come back and cut it and we'll see what we've got on the inside Hi everyone, I am back to cut honey wash soap and I think I'm going to name this one honeybee when I list it. Now, when I was unmolding these today, I realised I forgot to put my thing of ribbon through the bottom of the mould, so I had to unmold these very carefully. And unfortunately, I'll turn this around, as I was unmolding it, my little bee face planted into the workbench and he lost his face. So. I'm going to mix up some more mica and I am going to um, paint his little face back on. So, but otherwise, this soap is smelling beautiful. I get that mixed berries coming through it. It's nice and sweet without being too overly sweet and too heady. And I am loving the colour that it has gone. So I've lined this up onto the cutter and hopefully I am going to miss all of that melt and pour, which it looks like I am. And I am going to push straight down. I'm missing all those little bees, which is great. So we go all the way through and I'll catch the end and we'll have a look at what we've got inside. Okay, so let's grab this one from off the end and that is a really pretty swirl on that one and each piece has its piece of honeycomb and little bee. So I'm very pleased with how that one has come up there. We'll have a look at this next one. So that is the back and the front and then the honeycomb and bee sitting on the top. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me make my honey bee soap. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. It really helps get my videos out there. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell sign. I bring out a weekly soap baking or bath and body video and by hitting that subscribe and bell, it will let you know the next time I upload one. So I hope you have enjoyed and until next week, have a great one. Bye.